Hi friends, nice having you all here today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that are viewing for the first time, or probably you've been viewing but you've not subscribed, please use the time to hit on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. Please do not forget to hit on the like button. Yet, a very sad and unfortunate incident has just taken the life of this young, beautiful lady. And all of this started when some gunmen stormed the place in three different vehicles. You know, in some situations where people are coming to attack, they will just come randomly. And they put people in a state of confusion when they come in that way. You can imagine they all stormed in three vehicles and drove randomly to a particular location. That was when they started exchanging gunshots with security operatives. Definitely, you wouldn't expect the security operatives not to retaliate or shoot back at the gunmen. They also started shooting back. And in the process, three of the gunmen were killed and others also sustained bullet wounds. But an unfortunate thing happened because of this crossfire that took place, that took a lot of people unaware. And you know, definitely, the securities will not stop. Even if one of the gunmen would die, they would ensure that they shoot to the last, to the end, and see that these people that have come to attack are all dead or all of them are apprehended. And guys, do you know that it's not like the police people or the security operatives were aware that these gunmen were coming. They were just taken on away. The next thing they just started hearing was gunshots. I know that kind of a thing. When you're not fully prepared, anything can happen. But thank God that they were very fast to also start shooting back. And a lot of people were even shocked. They said they are so surprised the speed that the security men had responded immediately when this gunmen opened fire that they thought that the security men would just run away with their vehicles but they stood there and they kept on shooting back at these other people but while this whole crossfire was happening guys the main reason why i'm talking about this this young beautiful lady just a passerby straight bullet just went and hit this girl instantly killed her and the most painful part is that next week is her traditional wedding and her white wedding. Next weekend coming. What kind of a painful death is this? And all of this happened in Anambra State. It's so sad. The lady is 25 years old and she's known as Lilian Onyechuku. Just straight bullets from nowhere within this crossfire hit this lady. The exact location where this took place is in Agulu and your child local government area of Anambra State, Nigeria. Is this not very, very painful? What kind of a painful and sad news is this? And this was happening exactly at the military post close to the residence of the former Minister of Information, that's late Professor Dora Akunili, whom we all know has already passed away. But the painful thing is that the families of this lady, they're all taken unaware in shock and they're in great pain. Your daughter is healthy and strong. Just straight bullet from nowhere hits this girl and that was the end of her. All right, weekend will be her own wedding. Both the white wedding and the traditional wedding, everything has come to a halt. Everything has been cancelled. It's just so sad. When you hear how people die like this, you know, this is one of the most painful way to hear that someone has died. It's different from when you say the person is sick or the person was involved in an accident. This one is just an unfortunate act that took this lady's life away from her. It's so sad. We pray that the soul of Lilian Onyinye Chuku rest in peace with the Lord. May Almighty God console her entire family members friends well wishers everyone that knew her may god console them all sometimes you'll be wondering who are all these hoodlums what are you people out to gain at the end of the day you just 
end up killing innocent people. The question is how long will all of this continue? These days, some people can't even come out of their house and move freely. A lot of people are walking on the streets with fear. Will Lillian ever know that a straight bullet from nowhere will take her own life? She never thought of it, neither did anyone in her family ever imagine that they will be saying rest in peace to healthy, happy Lillian. And the problem is, when these people start shooting, they don't even care. Whether it's going to the people they are targeting or not, they don't care. Alright, look at, they took the policemen on away. But thank God that they were able to still stand up strong and retaliate. Why are they doing all of this? That is the question. Alright, look at the video I had posted just a few days ago of a couple on their own wedding day. In Imo State, this actually happened. They were just driving to the wedding venue. What's the distance? Unknown to them that someone had laid an ambush there waiting for them. This one is not even random killers that will just kill people on a highway or people that are traveling. No. He planned to take the lives of this military couple because he felt that they were killing innocent people. So the best way for him to retaliate was for him to kill the lives of this military spouse that were going to say I do on the altar. Family members were seated in church waiting for them, unknown to them that these people have been killed. And the way they were even killed is so horrible. Mm -hmm. They took their heads away, cut off their heads, mutilated their private organs. Why would you even do that kind of a thing to a human being? So when you hear people kill their fellow human beings like this, it's just like people don't even value lives anymore. They could just go stand up, wake up from sleep and you decide that this is what you want to do. You make up your mind that you want to kill a human being like you. Sometimes you watch your fellow human being crying, wailing and screaming, telling you, please spare their lives. Some people are not ready to even listen. How they start imagining this death in their head or killing their fellow human beings in their head is even unimaginable. It's something you'll be wondering, how do people just gather liver to do something like this? It's so sad and unfortunate. Look at how young, beautiful Lillian has lost her life. And you know, the unfortunate thing is that sometimes some of this crossfire, it ends up hitting innocent people. A lot of people have been killed. The other day was in Edo State, a girl just in her father's compound. That was how straight bullet came from a police gun and then hit this girl right inside her father's house. The other day, a young man again in Delta State, straight bullets. Just hit this guy when he is in his own house. Then how do you explain this kind of a death? What would you call this kind of a death? These are the kind of death that you just be asking why, 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 yet you don't get answers. You are not even safe inside your own house because you don't even know who and who is out there trying to bring out guns to start shooting. It's just so sad that most times it's the innocent people that don't even know what's happening. Mm that end up getting killed and another thing is that most times these straight bullets they just go and hit the person on the head you barely hear that the straight bullet hit someone on the arm or on the leg and they're still alive most cases you hear that that person has passed away the person may not have passed instantly but a few days later the person would no longer be breathing anymore they'll tell you the person is dead we all just need to be very very prayerful in fact, it's becoming very, very scary moving around these days, even staying in your own home. They raid people who have guns these days and use it anyhow. You don't go around with weapons and then you think you can just gun down anybody. Some people, you just have an argument with them. The next thing they pull out a gun and shoot whoever they are arguing with. Or some people will just sit down and arrange themselves in group to go and just start mm -hmm. shooting randomly at people. For no reason, just because it makes them happy to see that people are dropping dead to the ground. It's only God that will protect each and every one of us. Every day, one horrible news or the other. Every day, one person or the other is passing away. All because their own fellow human being has decided and made up their minds that they want this person dead. It's still unfortunate and sad that people 
still think of killing their own human being for no reason. Killing their fellow human beings that look like them. It's so, so sad. Once again, may the soul of Lillian rest in peace. May Almighty God console her husband-to-be, her entire family members, friends, well-wishers. They are still in great shock to hear that Lillian is no longer alive. Imagine all the preparations they've made for her wedding and everything has just come to a standstill. Or imagine how the guy who she's intended to be saying I do to on the altar, how would he be feeling right now? Shattered and broken, her own parents. Imagine the worst trauma they will be going through. Your daughter has been with you all through, grown to becoming a woman and now her life has just been cut short. She was not engaged in a fight. She was just on her own and this thing happened. This is the kind of death that you will just live every day saying you wish this was this or you wish that did not happen or you wish she was at this place. Because that is all we can do as human. You're just making wishes but what has happened has happened and we can't undo it. Mm. So, so sad. Friends, please, like I said, let's all be very, very prayerful. Before we leave the house, even when you're in your house, you keep praying because no one can really say what will happen the next minute or the next second. Friends, nice having you all here today. Please, before you leave, not forget to hit on the subscribe button. Also, the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you. God bless you all.